Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas once again is facing ethical questions. A new report by ProPublica reveals that Justice Thomas participated in two previously undisclosed donor events hosted by the Koch Network over the years, despite the group bringing cases before the Supreme Court. Over more than 50 years, Charles Koch and his late brother David built one of the most influential political organizations in the United States. NBC News has not independently verified the ProPublica story, and Thomas has not publicly commented. But these new allegations of Justice Thomas's participation at the Koch Network events come as the Supreme Court will reconsider the landmark 1984 Chevron versus NRDC case which sets a 40-year-old precedent on the powers of federal agency, agencies. And according to ProPublica, the Koch Network has long pushed to see Chevron overturned. Joining me now, Josh Kaplan, reporter on that ProPublica story. Thank you very much for coming to the Saturday show, Josh. Please explain the details of this, uh, of this reporting and why it's concerning. Yeah, so we found that um, Clarence Thomas has secretly participated in small, you know, in uh, high dollar donor events for the Koch Network, which, as you said, is one of the most powerful and influential political groups in the last half century. Um, so every year, the Koch Network has its big annual fundraising event out in Palm Springs uh, for donors that give at least $100,000 a year. And we found that uh, during the 2018 Donor Summit, for instance, Thomas uh, flew out to Palm Springs on a private jet, uh, which he didn't disclose. And then he attended a small private dinner for high dollar Coke donors. Um, and why was he there? Uh, well, former Coke staffers told us that uh, he was brought in because providing donors access like that was seen as a very valuable fundraising tool. Um, a perk for donors, essentially, uh, which puts, you know, this all puts Thomas in a really pretty extraordinary position uh, that is, frankly, far outside the norms for judges' conduct. Uh, he has served as a prestigious fundraising draw for a network that has brought multiple cases to the Supreme Court, uh, including one of the biggest cases of this coming term. You know, J Josh, uh, Senate Judiciary Committee Chairman Dick Durbin has asked Justice Thomas to recuse himself from uh, the upcoming Chevron case. How do you think Thomas will respond? Um, I, mean, I don't want to make predictions, but I mean, uh, I, you know, I think I'd be surprised. I'd be very surprised if he uh, recused himself. And um, with questions like that, I mean, the only person making that decision is Thomas himself. Um, which gets to, I think, you know, an issue that underscores this whole story uh, when it comes to questions of what is appropriate for a justice to attend? Uh, when should a justice recuse themselves? At the Supreme Court, unlike the lower courts and unlike uh, essentially the rest of the federal government, uh, it's just the justices making that call. If Thomas says it's fine, then it is. Um, you know, recently, Justice Brett Kavanaugh said there could be concrete steps soon to address ethics concerns. W what would that look like? And do you think the other justices would be on board? Well, yeah. I mean, so Kavanaugh has said that. Uh, I believe Kagan said that uh, yesterday afternoon. Uh, John Roberts has said similar. Um, and so there certainly uh, is some effort within the court to... Uh, you know, there, there, there is an expressed interest in implementing these rules. However, um, you know, justices have been publicly saying that the court is going to, you know, implement a code of conduct soon for at least four or five years now, um, and it hasn't happened yet. Uh, so I think, you know, it's a big open question of uh, are there, what are the obstacles to doing that? And, um, you know, will this come to fruition soon? Um, and also, of course, uh, what it will actually look like, because a code of conduct that is uh, vague and has no enforcement mechanism uh, might not be that different from the current status quo. Right, right. Josh Kaplan of ProPublica, thank you very much for coming to the Saturday show. Thanks so much for having me.